What's going on, everybody? Thanks for joining us today. We're PGH Reactions. We're a group of jagoffs in Pittsburgh, watching TV, drinking some beers, cracking some jokes, discussing it all after the fact. I'm Rob. My name's Josh. I'm Jake. I'm Brian. I'm Warren. Today we're watching episode five of season two of Primal. Um, this series so far, season two, has been nothing short of absolutely fucking amazing. Yes. Uh, episode four was insane. It was a bloodbath and then an emotional roller coaster. Uh, that's all I can really say. Just fucking watch it if you haven't seen it. <laughs> um, I love how this show makes us feel something different every time in this in season two compared to season one. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, I don't even know what to predict for the upcoming episodes. I mean, that's all I just. I, I, I expect I, to I, feel I, something. Yeah. Right. More than anything, because the first season seemed like one offs. More than anything else, it did, and in this, yeah. it feels like there's a there is an overarching narrative. We don't know what it is yet, <laughs> but true. there is one. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. We're at a point now where they have Mira, or they've met Mira. Everything's kind of like taken care of. Mm -hmm. So what do they do now? Like, yeah. What's the plan? I'd like to see what they're planning to do, where they're going. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's a I, very good point. I just I'm I'm very excited to see what enemies we're gonna face because like. Season one to season two is just it's a, a giant like just mix of enemies, yeah. zombie dinosaurs, vampires, Vikings, yeah. a megalodon, witches, like witches, Snakes. like there's everything ever that they're facing. So what the hell's next? Yeah. See, I think. How where, do you top that? I think, <laughs> I think where this season is going and where. I think we're going to see a change in it. I think we saw a change last episode. It's not quite what we're fighting anymore. It's now why we're fighting. That's a really Ooh. good point. I, I, I good think one. that's where the show's really... I think this episode might be better than the last. That's... I don't want to expect it because I've never <laughs> gone into the show with expectations. <laughs> but season two, oh my god. <laughs> it's some good fucking TV. Yeah. 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 It that way. Tartakovsky's nailing it. Yeah, way to go, bro. Yeah. All right, well, let's jump into it. Let's guys. jump yeah, in. But yeah. you guys know the drill. Before we do, we're not a market substitute as much as you want us to be. This is going to be heavily cut down for YouTube. You're going to want to watch this yourself on Adult Swim, HBO Max, live on TV, however you want to do it. Uh, then come back here. Cracker Bear, watch with us. Have a good time. Super easy. Are you ready, boys? Yeah. Ready. Let's go. Here we go. The primal That's different text. Theory. That is different text. I like theory. Oh, okay. Timestamp. That's okay. an actual first connection we've got to the real world. Yep. Evening, sir. Have they started? Just. In the study, sir. These theories extend to not only humans, but throughout the animal kingdom. Charles was just lecturing us on how we're no different from savages. All the way from London for this. Over time, a species inevitably experiences random variations. We've seen this in a variety of birds. Birds? Yes, the species' need for survival focuses their characteristics to adapt, change. It is their primal instinct. Well, my primal instinct needs more brandy if I'm to survive. What <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to say is that we're not so dissimilar from the primitive man from whence we came. We have evolved beyond creation's expectations, but under the right circumstances, facing a primeval threat, I assure you, gentlemen, that our evolution will revert back to its primal savage form. Well then, we must watch over Blakely's cakes, for if circumstances see them disappear, it will surely release his inner beast. <laughs> Nobody's taking him seriously. No. Gentlemen, let us not discard the shadows in the spear so quickly. Oh, That's a good point. Like in your pardon, the same gentlemen, chin but I need to notify chin you of a situation. Seems an inmate has escaped from the asylum down the road there. Well, what? What the disturbed madman he is. Killed an orderly in the scuffle and all. Constable, we have him. Here is your madman. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, dickheads. Yeah, fuck you. But if only it is an insult to the very core of this historical society. He's gonna punch him in the face. We are scientists, learned men. We deal in facts. The house Your of learned doctors. 
As crazy and deranged as that madman who escaped the asylum. No, Dr. Curly had it. Fuck! Found him. What the devil is it now? Did you hear that? <sighs> of course I heard it. Perhaps one of the branches has shattered the upstairs window. I'll nope. check on it right away. Yes, see to it, Steve. Take one of those swords with yep. you. Yep, you got weapons all around you, bro. Is this kind of turned into a murder mystery episode? <laughs> like, what I'm is sure this? will be the last of them. No, I think they're, he's gonna go primal. It's his fucking house, man. It's your house. You have to defend it. it feels like lights out, someone dies, and then they have to figure Bad. out what's happening. Shall we continue? <sighs> Episodes because of these fucking losers. Oh my god! <laughs> Who's this beastly looking scoundrel? Is that with his shorts? It looks like he had braids or something. Tattoo. Oh, tattoos. That's frogs. Yes! <laughs> sword! 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 Yes! Oh. Yeah. yeah, you're done, bro. He's gonna kill you. Lord have mercy! Believe me now, bitch! Burn this. Hold that door against him. He threw something larger than that. <laughs> yeah, you're dead, Dilbert. The savage. Has he no dignity? Dignity? <laughs> oh, God, that thing is barely human. There's two oh, revolvers in that case. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> oh, my God! God. He's quick. It looks like Drax. <laughs> this is what it probably felt like for that village that Spear and Fang attacked. They didn't attack the village. The village attacked them. Regardless. Oh, perfect. And now the two guns. The first room you should have gone is. Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> I shake him. He's gonna pop his head off. Come on, yeah, All you needed was you one! Saw. Yeah, really. Don't miss. Don't. Just walk up to him! Just walk up, up to him! him. <laughs> Shoot! Shoot <him. laughs> <laughs> You're so fucking right. dead. <laughs> He's gone. Quickly. Oh, oh, God. God. Just leave. <laughs> fucking arm yourselves. <laughs> that's oh the one. God. Out of all the helmets you got in there, that's the one you pick. Dude, he fucked your door. You can't even shoot. You got too many guns. Be careful, man. Came out of nowhere. You suck. You suck. Dude, why'd you hesitate? Did this say death on his stomach? <laughs> Shoot his legs! <laughs> nope. Nope. Come on. They suck. That was... They could have flanked from the 
sides and shot. Blakely, Blakely, are you all right? Leave him, or we have the monster on the run. Uh, I mean, he was just but outside well, earlier. Dude, this guy has like lightning speed. It's he could go from the door to the outside window in a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. How is he even up there? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You were right. Yeah, I didn't catch that. Primal. Oh, now we have man. some fishy cuffs, are we? I demand satisfaction. <laughs> This is gonna be great. <laughs> Watch out, you're gonna get bumped. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's oh, gonna pop your head off, bro. Just stab him, man. You stop. You're so dead. Bow and arrow. <laughs> yep. Dude. He shot those fast, two off fast. real fast. Wow. Got him. Don't bet on it. Show yourself, you bastard. Ooh. That was close. Anything, dude. Oh, that's not the way to go. What the fuck? Dude, dude. Yeah, he's gonna rip him open. Here we fucking go. Also, this has devolved from like very like specific conversation down to just go yelling. All right. <laughs> seeing primal theory right now and you're the one who fucking said it didn't exist. Dude, I Dude, bet he's it. gonna fucking say that. He just woke up from it. Dude, he fucking snapped. I'm there, you. Ah, suck it, nerd! <laughs> That was probably just like a joke that they had. And they're like, we have to do it. <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs> oh my god. But there was literally just a fight scene the entire thing. So I know we were all worried at the beginning of that. Like, Spear's just some crazy guy that broke out of an asylum. and But that's not what we got. <laughs> I'm so happy with that episode. 
So um, I didn't like it until the end. Yeah. So I want to start this discussion off by saying that on Gendy Tartakovsky's Instagram page, because to, today he said that he handed in the final episode of the season to to Adult Swim. Okay. He also said that he's looking forward to expanding the primal world, and I think that this is the first step into doing that. Oh. Like he's, I guess he's hinted at wanting to make multiple seasons of Primal and to open the world that he's creating up. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dang. So. I like that. And I guess this is the first time that we see something like that. Jeez. Yeah, like yeah. you said, halfway through this episode, I'm like, really? Like this I didn't like, like it until like right at the end. Like, I, I ate the dialogue. I was like, alright, yep. humans, it's 1800s, it's dialogue. Yeah. And of then, course we're gonna be talking. <laughs> then, as soon as it started to devolve, I saw, saw where it was going and somebody called it with the best primal theory. Just mm. absolute gem of an episode. <laughs> what a little zinger. Yeah, that was, yeah. was really fun. <laughs> a fun one-off. Just as I was <laughs> saying at the beginning of this, how there's an overarching thing in all the other ones in season one more one-offs well fuck me <laughs> yeah if i uh if i was still in school i'd definitely fucking write about this <laughs> <laughs> this, this would be like term paper material right went here to film school <laughs> right. that was yeah. fucking good man wow I liked the little reprieve in between. It was nice the to hear that thing, journey, and then Ed seeing you know jump into the future. Yeah. Is that the halfway episode through the season? Yes, this yeah. is ten episodes. Okay, yeah, so okay. That's the makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It makes yeah. sense. That's it's a little yeah. break. It was really weird to hear that much dialogue at first, but I got into it after a while. Yeah. Main reason and, I didn't like it. And, 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 and I felt yeah, I, I was torn until like the last few minutes. And like I felt really comfortable, honestly, once that inmate showed up, because it reminded me of <laughs> Spear. That was clearly yeah. fucking Spear, like a, a primal point, yeah. version right. of a human uh, being. Yeah. Of of a. Uh, of... <laughs> so are. Not to interrupt your thought process here, but... No, I'm losing it constantly. Are they they hinting that that's what Spear has that's kept him alive? Is that primal instinct? Just like we talked about at the end of episode four, and that... I mean, I said it before we started this. Like, I feel like that last episode was a big switch between what they're fighting and why they're fighting. Mm -hmm. I think it's always been about why they're fighting. Mm -hmm. It's the primal drive to survive. Mm -hmm. Like the most natural instinct is, is the young reproduce and grow the young, and they both lost that in the beginning. Mm-hmm. So they yeah. had nothing to live for. Mm-hmm. They just constantly fought things that were trying to end the lives of others. Mm-hmm. And as soon as we started to get a semblance of some sort of like tribal society between them, it cuts way to this and says. No, when you're in danger, you're just gonna fucking kill everything. Yeah. <laughs> or when your life is threatened. Yeah. yeah. You, like honestly, like what did was... it for me was when that dude took his shirt off. I was like, ah, oh, here we go. That's when I liked it. And that's when the dialogue stopped. That's when yeah. there was no yeah. other words until yeah. that guy was dead. They both just <laughs> they both just fought it out and screamed at each other. My yeah. favorite part, which I feel like we all saw the coming, boxing. was when it was done. When he landed yeah. and fell and let go of the spear. Yeah. Oh, when what he did I do? When he let go of spear. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, like that reality when it came back to him. It was like that shift on his face. Like I saw that coming, but it, I didn't think it would hit me as well as it did. Like mm-hmm. that, that was fucking good, man. Jesus Christ. I wasn't sure where it was honestly going to go. Like, if it was going to be the whole episode or if we were just going to get, like, that a brief flash and cut back yeah. to Spear and Fang. Mm-hmm. But it was the whole episode, and I still, it's, I'm still digesting it. I don't know if I actually liked it. Did it's you guys hope? Or, different. They, it, it was yeah. different. Like I Which was, is what Genny Dartakovsky does. Is right. do, is, is, just does a lot of weird shit. Mm-hmm. I felt the same way that it was going to cut back to Spear and Fang. And did you guys feel that, like, multiple times through this episode. Yes. Maybe yeah, they'll cut back to it here. I mean, I was hoping. Maybe they'll cut back to it here. And as it kept going, I was like, nah, we're gonna see what happens with this. <laughs> Once they got into the weapon room, when he said, arm up, 
Like, that's when I went, no, I, I don't want to go back to Spirit Bank right now. <laughs> yeah, I want to see how we got to resolve this. <laughs> like, I realized at that point, the show is not called Spear and Fang. Right. It's called right. it's Primal. Called Primal. 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 So, <laughs> so there's another thing that I need to bring up that somebody else was very gracious enough to type out a super long comment on episode two about. Thanks. Um, which relates to what I mentioned about Gendy Tartakovsky wanting to open up a world. So people seem to think there's another theory going on right now that this takes place in the same world as Samurai Jack. And that that's what his, cool. idea, because there, there, I guess people have analyzed that, I guess the main, I, I've watched very little of Samurai Jack, but I guess the main villain is Aku, Aku. who is born from darkness. Mm -hmm. yes. And they're saying that could be the entity that was in episode seven, which was the with the witches, that dark entity that like, like, that, that Are you could be like fucking the birth serious? Of him, like going from, like trying to figure out a place in the world, and like, because I guess the animation that they use for the that which is magic is the same animation that they use for when that guy uses who uses magic in Samurai Jack. Hmm. Get the fuck. So out of here. maybe it's he's trying to create a larger world. Who knows? But it's it's just a theory to bring up. That would be crazy. Yeah, I, that would make me really happy, actually. <laughs> it would make a lot of people go back and rewatch Samurai Jack. Well, yeah, I've only seen a few episodes There's of There's five Jack. seasons of it, too. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Like, I remember really yeah. liking it when I did watch it, but yeah, I didn't. I don't know the whole arc of that mm -hmm. story. Wow. It involves time travel. It does? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which Samurai Jack's all just about time saw. travel. Yeah. Right. Which we just we saw. <laughs> <laughs> so, <sighs> so get ready. Here we go, boys. Yeah, yeah, but this is this is all stuff that's come up within the last few days because this episode aired almost almost last week. Yeah, yeah. So, um, or is he a very people have had a lot of time to think about this. Jeez. Stop it! <laughs> time travel. <laughs> wow. Don't. Uh, these past two episodes, I think, were some of my favorites personally. Just the depth and quality that that they dove into and expanded on. Like, I, I love them. I think it's really great the direction they're going, but my only gripe I have with season two so far is that there's not enough dinosaurs. I know. Another and that's, uh, like, they're that's, not on the dinosaur island. Right. They're on the people island. And like, when I watch I this it. show, like, I understand what they're doing and where, like, the direction they're trying to take this just from the past few episodes, but like, want more dinosaurs so like, i want a dude riding a dinosaur and killing other dinosaurs. so my theory about that too is that the, uh, the island wherever spear and fang initially started out is just like people left that where, shit. wherever that is that world represents another time period sure. and now we're moving on to another time period mm -hmm. even though the other one exists where they showed that other dinosaur red i guess the internet's calling him um was very timid around uh around fang what if these Vikings, and what if they, their ancestors killed off all these dinosaurs on this island? What if yep. there is no more here? Well, they, Which is why everyone acted so fucking yeah. surprised to see, to see a dinosaur. They're like, oh shit, and you're riding it? Like, yeah. maybe their ancestors already killed off all the dinosaurs, and this is this represents a, another time period in human history, and Spear and Fang are just these... Spears of Relics Targaryen. from another world that are just trying to survive. Well, that would make sense because the red dinosaur did have a reaction to Fang like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, dinosaur. fuck. And the Vikings yeah. were like, oh, fuck. Which is why <laughs> his first, that dinosaur's first response was to hide. Yeah. You know, maybe he was just hiding from all the other humans. And you could tell it was smarter because it went up on that rock was like, Fang was just which, like around. The which would explain why he attacked them. It's like, shit, now we can do this, you and me. Like, yeah, let's, yeah. let's take care of this threat. Yeah. yeah. They killed my family, probably. Mm -hmm. Everybody in <laughs> here is just primal instinct. Yeah, it's just dog. <laughs> <laughs> They've domesticated just dope bears. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. You physically see the transition from primal to civilized. civilized. Mm -hmm. But they're still primal. And then they revert. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Today. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> yeah. There, there, there it is. is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Bully for you, Jeff Coat. What's up? More brandy. <laughs> Blood. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> Fuck you, guys. 
Hey, thanks again for watching along with us today. We hope you had a good time. If you did, please consider subscribing. You get to see all of our future content. If you want to leave a like, we really appreciate it. If you don't, eh, whatever. Uh, and if there's something you want us to watch in the future, eh, let us know. We'll try to get to it if we can, you know. But, uh, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Peace. Yeah. Thanks. Kelly, bye. Bye. bye.